Hello, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle with an illustration of the forward rate agreement, which is an over-the-counter contract that allows the buyer or borrower to lock in an interest rate. And in this example, I'm going to use just one of many different variations. I'll illustrate with a 3 by 9 forward rate agreement. The 3 and the 9 refer to months that are associated with the contract. And as the buyer of the forward rate agreement, I am locking in a LIBOR rate, let's say of 3%, a little higher than it is currently now. LIBOR stands for London Interbank Offer Rate. So as the buyer of the forward rate agreement, I want to lock in a rate of 3%. And so we can initiate the contract today. The 3 refers to the fact that the contract expires in 3 months such that if we go forward three months in time then the contract expires and both I as the buyer and my counterparty who's short the rate we both check the 180 day LIBOR rate that is prevailing at that time 180 days is six months and so you can see the three by nine refers to contract expires in three months and then nine months from initiation of the contract is when this contract would settle in arrears. So 9 minus 3 is 6 months. At 3 months when the contract expires we check the prevailing 6 month LIBOR rate and that means that if the contract were to settle in arrears we could go forward another 6 months and determine which counterparty owes the other car counterparty, excuse me, a net interest payment. And so that's why we call it a 3 by 9. The other tricky thing about this is that when the contract expires at 3 months, we're going to know the prevailing 6 month LIBOR rate. We're going to know whether the rate went up or down and whether I as the buyer am going to receive a net interest payment or pay a net interest payment if I were to settle in another six months forward or nine months from initiation and so we don't need to wait that long we can present value this net settlement back to the three month period or the contract expiration and so finally what we said is this three by nine forward rate agreement expires in three months based on an anticipated net interest payment in nine months but we can conduct that net settlement at three months. So the exchange of cash will be made here at the expiration of the contract or three months. And so let's look at an example here where I've assumed a notional of one million dollars. Why do I call it a notional? Because we're not going to actually exchange the principal. We're just going to use the notional and compute the interest paid or received based on the notional. And in this case, as the buyer, I'm going to lock in a forward rate agreement of rate of 3%. So I am essentially long LIBOR at 3%. And then under this contract, again, we're doing a 3 by 9 So this contract ex expires in 3 months and is based on the difference here is 6 months, the 6-month LIBOR that prevails at that time. And so here, one row for each month where this first row is just when the contract initiates. Okay, then we go out one month, two months, and three months. Here we are three months, and now the contract expires. That means both I as the buyer and the counterparty check the prevailing 180-day LIBOR rate. And here I've got an assumption. I don't know at initiation what the LIBOR will be. I've got an assumption of 4%, so I'm going to profit as the buyer because the rate went up. I was long the rate. So we assume the LIBOR went up to 4%. This is the six-month LIBOR. And we can compute what would be settled if we were to settle this contract in arrears. In arrears means forward another six months out to, I'm now nine months forward from the contract initiation, or half a year six months from contract expiration. As the forward rate agreement buyer, I will be paying my fixed rate. I was long the rate at 3%. 3% of the 1 million notional is $30,000. However, 
the distance here between three and nine months is only six months so it's really interest for half of the year so as the buyer of the forward rate agreement I am paying fixed paying a fixed rate equal to half of three percent on the one million notional or fifteen thousand I'm paying fixed so that part that leg of the forward rate agreement isn't going to change regardless of what happens that's why I entered into it I wanted to lock in that rate the other part the unknown part or the part that's variable depending on what happens to LIBOR is the receive floating and so in this case where the assumption is the LIBOR the prevailing LIBOR rate at expiration three months forward is four percent that means my counterparty is going to owe me LIBOR of four percent multiplied by notional of a million that equals forty thousand but again only over half of a year so half of forty is twenty thousand my counterparty who was short LIBOR essentially was on the wrong side under this scenario and owes me twenty thousand I owe them fifteen we don't need to exchange those full amounts we only need to net them out and therefore I am going to receive five thousand dollars and notice that's exactly half it's a six month period of the one percent increase in the LIBOR one percent of the notional is ten thousand half of that for the six month period is five thousand and so you can see as the buyer of the forward rate agreement I truly am long the LIBOR rate and now we didn't quite finish because remember we're doing this calculation out at nine months the contract expires here at three months meaning I and my counterparty can simply present value that five thousand and determine that I am owed instead of five thousand in another six months I'm just gonna receive that discounted or present value of the five thousand at the contract expiration in this case happens to be four thousand nine hundred dollars the present value of five thousand not the present value to initiation because we can't do that at contract in inception but the present value to the expiration which in this case is three months forward and so that is the settlement and the end of the forward rate agreement and just to show you the other the other way this could go what if LIBOR goes down to two percent well in that case notice as the buyer of the forward rate agreement I still pay fifteen thousand I've locked in that three percent rate over half a year is half of thirty thousand however my counterparty who is short LIBOR this time they're on the right side of the transaction they only need they only really owe me in the future or nine months out half of twenty thousand which is two percent of the notional and therefore if we went out if we were to settle in arrears I would be paying the counterparty five thousand dollars which present valued means that we settle this contract at expiration where I as the buyer of the forward agreed agreement owe my counterparty this amount and so it really is a bet on what that prevailing 180 day LIBOR rate will be at three months this is David Harper the Bonnock Turtle thanks for your time